Well, g'day everyone, and welcome back to the Lifestyle Pioneers, season two. I think this will kick off season two, this episode is the plan. We are headed north, uh, we're in Queensland, and we're on our way to Fraser Island. Uh, there's, uh, I'll just turn this radio off. There's a lot of rain been about lately. It's uh, it's mid-May, and uh, we've actually, we're meant to be on Fraser a little while, a few days ago, but the, uh, the rain has closed a lot of the roads and flooded us out, so we've just been sitting uh waiting for the roads to reopen and we're hoping this morning we can get to the island uh we've made a few phone calls and word is we can get there so we're just going to punch up the freeway a few more k's and then uh and then head up to rainbow beach and air down we're going to try and take the caravan on fraser island we could be crazy who knows uh the rain hopefully will help things wet sand's always going to be a bit easier to drive on than uh, hot dry sand so fingers crossed we're a bit nervous but We'll see what happens, uh, and we'll sh we've got some other people in our convoy for this episode. Uh, we're going to punch up the freeway for you. Here's what's coming up in this episode. Caught behind the nation blinds, how to reach for the city lines. This ain't where I belong. Ain't looking me, man, what I become. I've been running. Give us a rundown of your emotions right now, darling. How are you feeling? Because um, I've got mixed emotions. Definitely got mixed emotions. What are your emotions, darling? Um, lots of excitement and lots of we've got this, and then a lot of oh shit, what if it all goes wrong? <laughs> To be honest, I think if you were going to put your home and your car onto a boat across the ocean to get to an island, which is all sand and all sand to get there, if you weren't a bit nervous, I think there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a lot, lot of excitement, pretty nervous, but we'll be right. We've got a couple of vehicles in our convoy at least, so if it all goes pear-shaped, it's only sand, we can dig ourselves out. We've got a lot of recovery gear, so... Fingers crossed, hope <laughs> for the best. Let's see how this goes. We just got our barge pass and our vehicle permit and everything at the uh, at the Shell Servo in Rainbow Beach. Uh, we're just gonna head out now to Inskip, air down and try and get onto this barge, see what happens. Let's go. There's an island just over, there's an island just over here called Panican Island. I was just saying, I reckon that's named after uh, everyone who brings a caravan to Fraser Island. That's what you do before you get here, a bit of Panican. <laughs> We've arrived at Inskip Point. Here we are, the barge is just over there in the distance, just running over. We're just going for a little walk down the access track just to see what we're in for. We're just gonna start letting down our tires, getting ready to get onto the beach. So it looks like the rain uh, has done the job and the sand's looking pretty firm. So uh, I just wanna sort of see where the barge lands, but, but feeling reasonably confident now having seen it. It's uh, always a bit nerve wracking when you're not sure what you're in for. Well, it's calming the nerves already seeing what we're uh, what we're going to be dealing with so yeah see so how we go could be famous last words <laughs> <laughs> but more confident than i was 10 minutes ago put it that way yeah. so we've just done a walk of the track and it yeah it's funny how much anxiety has just been instantly lifted from my shoulders i don't know why we've been so nervous about this one but we have. <laughs> it's been sort of playing on us a bit. I don't know if it's the extra responsibility of having crew, uh, not crew, friends with us that we feel a little bit responsible for and they don't have as much four-wheel drive experience as we do, so we're kind of leading this expedition. Yeah, is it the responsibility for others? Is it, you know, the amount of people on Facebook groups and stuff that say don't um, take your caravan across? Yeah, I don't know. But e either way, I feel good now, so... Yeah, happy days. What are you going down to, hon? I don't know, the sand's pretty firm. I think it may be 15. It's always hard with this stuff. There's no hard and fast rule, you know. It's just a bit of a gut feeling you got to go with. And everyone else is asking me what pressure to put their cars to. I don't really know. I don't know their cars, you know, or their weights or anything. But I do know one thing. I'll be ready for a swim when we get there. It's, it's hot.
All right, let's do this. So we're going low range, using the diff lock. Might as well, got it. Might as well use it. And um, what else am I doing? Oh yeah, I just turned the brake controller down a bit so we don't, um, don't want to go locking up the trailer brakes on the sand, so. This is going to be awesome. Going on a boat? Yeah, going on a boat. I'm going on a boat. Oh well, that went well except for Pete yeah, losing, losing yeah. his jockey wheel. Oh no, Pete reckons he's Steve's already, out. Steve's already out. Pretty much near the near the keep left sign, uh, in the left hand wheel track as we were coming out. It's not fun. Nothing like breaking something in the first 200 meters. I think Peter's your beer, Steve. Maybe two. <laughs> there and back. Yeah, you need a new one anyway. Hey, this one's bugging. Close to bog. Sand's nice and wet. Yes, so we have made it onto Fraser Island. How good is this? Got the van in tow. We are cruising. Taking our home for a spin down the beach. Let's go.
that hill we just went up was really gnarly. It was really, really steep. I don't know if it shows how steep it is, but yeah, we were doing like four wheel burnouts going up it. Ranger, Ranger got there. Yeah, that was cool. It's got a little bit, uh, little bit steep and pretty tight. Come through on the rock, come to come through the rocks there, but we made it through. Ah, bit of a drive, bit of a trek up the beach. I'm pretty keen to get there now. We're camping at the Mahino camping area, just up past the Mahino Rec, just on the north side of, of Eli Creek. So I reckon we must be a bit over halfway now, but it's, we've been in the car, for, I think it's been about an hour since we got off the barge or a bit more. So keen to get there. I think the boys are keen to get there. Are you keen, boys? Yeah. Yeah. They're very keen. Jeez, this looks a bit steep. <laughs> and it's going to be tight too. sure it's just a Fraser Island thing. I've never seen it done before, but any other places, but I think just when you get to a narrow part of the beach and you've got oncoming traffic, it's a good idea just to throw on your indicator, just to sort of show that you're pulling out of their way and they do the same for you and avoids a uh, chance of a head-on collision, I guess. I think that's the theory behind it. If someone else knows differently, let me know, but that's what I've always thought it was. Dale. Show everyone your trick with the water. Well, I don't like sand in my caravan, so being a sand island, there's a lot of sand around. This way I can. Alright, wash my feet off before I get in the van. Now's the time to subscribe if you haven't already. That is worth a subscribe. <laughs> More hot tips coming soon. <laughs> Um, I just walked in here without washing my feet. You're joking. <laughs> I followed I you in went, with the camera. I just went all the way down to the beach. <laughs> He'll forgive me later. <laughs> Morale is just skyrocketing. <laughs> <laughs> so not getting bogged oh, on Fraser. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Well Cheers. Cheers, mate. Ah, that's good. We're almost finished setting up, but Pete's lost his beer. Yeah. Camp is set up is the best feeling. We are having um, marinated chicken and corn and salad for dinner tonight. So I'm just gonna knock that up and I'm just gonna chill out and watch the sunset. So yeah, happy days. See what tomorrow brings. Morning, we're off this morning. We've got the crew with us. We are going to find Lake Mackenzie. So we're just gonna drive down the beach. We've just timed it with the tide so that we can get through. And uh, yeah, let's go check out Lake Mackenzie. Feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my time for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make. What I do when I'm 
This forest is stunning. It's just beautiful. I, I don't know. I knew there was a bit of a rainforest on the island, but I didn't expect it to be this good. So, wow. It's beautiful. Like, just the smell. <laughs> yeah, Pete's on the, on the two-way going, do not bring a caravan down this way. Um, the smell of the forest through here is stunning. I'm gonna be myself I could be someone else. Okay, sweet. Team map to the Affirm rescue. Affir yeah, affirmative. We are going uh, this way. The tourist map they give you for the island isn't too bad, but yeah, I think the Hema ones. Well, the Hema ones definitely better. It's got a lot more detail and and the road names on it rather than just um, yeah place names and stuff. So I don't know. It's been good as a cross reference as well when we're not one hundred percent sure where we are on the island <laughs> to have the extra Hema map. I think for thirteen dollars. It's a, uh, it's handy bit of kit. We don't really, we don't use a GPS. A lot of people ask us about navigation stuff. We don't really use a GPS at all. Um, I'm, I'm pretty old fashioned. I like my paper maps. Um, not saying I'll never do it, but I've had GPSs in the past and they're handy to know where you are. But yeah, I like the big scale map being able to see everything all at once. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes all right, quick diversion. We uh, just saw the turn off to the Wobby Lake lookout. So we're just gonna go for a quick walk, go and have a look at Lake Wobby, and then we'll continue on to Lake Mackenzie. So it's only a, I think they say it's a one kilometer side track, but and then probably a few hundred meters walk, but yeah. we'll uh, we'll get there. Thanks, darling. <laughs> oh, crikey. She's a bit overgrown. Bit of bush fashion. All right, let's go see what Lake Wobby is. I think this is the one with the big sand blow, like the big sand dune that rolls into the rolls into the lake. So I'm pretty keen to check this one out. We'll find out. We've lost the kids. They've run yeah, the 300 kids. meters in front of us. If you're it's fine. actually really nice because we get a bit of quiet time. <laughs> Beautiful and peaceful, and the vegetation is wicked. I love the, this forest here. I was just saying, Liz, as we drove in, I think my favourite part of Fraser is the interior. Absolutely, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Mind you, we haven't been to the west coast yet. We're going to try and get over to the west coast as well and check that out. And I know Lake Mackenzie is going to be wicked, but yeah, the interior is where it's at. It's beautiful. All right. Yeah, the beach didn't look very appealing this morning. It was more choppy and overcast, so it's definitely winning here. We're still ex we're expecting a fair bit, well, a lot of rain in the next few days as well. We're going to get more rain, so we're trying to just make the most of the days where it's not raining. I think there's more rain tonight, uh, and then we'll see what comes after that, how much we get done. But We've got big plans, see how much of it comes off, eh? We're not short of plans, that's for sure. Well, that's Lake Wobby, spectacular little lake. Uh, so you can, you can walk down to the lake as well. It's a one kilometre each way from the lookout, so I think it's a bit over three k's from the car park return down to the lake. Looks like a cool spot to hang out. You're not actually allowed to take food down there for the dingoes, so, um, well not, you're not allowed to take food for the dingoes or food at all down there. They're obviously trying to prevent the dingoes from, from hanging out down there, so kind of rules it out a little bit for families for hanging out there down there for too long. I don't know about your kids, but ours won't last long without a feed, so we're just gonna do the lookout for today and we're gonna keep heading on, have a swim at Lake Mackenzie. And we'll uh, chalk up Lake Wobby for another time, I think. But uh, for now, it's back in the cars and uh, head off to, to Mackenzie. Let's do it. I'm so excited. We're just going for a little swim.
This place is just next level beautiful. I think it's my new favorite place, which is, that's just insane. Like, I just, it's stunning, it's perfect. It's like beach, shade, fresh water, perfect for kids. It's winning, winning, ticking a lot of boxes in my books. I'm gonna go out for a paddle with my friend Melly and Tara. Um, but yeah, God help them because my balance is woeful. Taxi for James? Lake Mackenzie has got to be an absolute highlight of Fraser Island. It is just insane. We did have some plans to take a um, an esky, sorry, a fridge filled with food down to the um, down to the lake and just hang out there all day. Um, unfortunately, because of the dingoes on the island, you have to eat all your food and um, drink drinks and stuff. They've got these like fenced off areas, and you can see why because. If a dingo or a pack of dingoes come along while you're eating, it's not going to be good. There's sections there where you just take your food, eat your food and then put it back in your car, lock it up. This has just been insane. I've loved it. It's just been this nice, gentle sort of adventure. Like it hasn't been anything too extreme, but it's just been good. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah, let's do it. Um, don't know, I've got nothing else to add to that. That's, cool. yeah, well done, Liz. Yeah. I'm pretty handy reading a map too, aren't I, Dale? Oh, can read a map. Nah, she has her own. Just as long as it's up the right way. So I just showed that whole foot washing thing on the camera. Liz just followed me in with the camera without washing her feet. <laughs> And just walk, stand, That's walk, exactly what you should film me and Alex. Like, oh, look at that. Oh. I'm filming. It took a while. Say hi, Simon. Hi, Simon. Ken Liz. 